Hello guys, it's Mickey. Welcome to my channel. If you just tuned to my channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time there's an upload coming from me. So today I'll be giving you guys a sample of fungicide knuckle water. Well, the reason why I'm giving this is because of um, comments I've had from some people, someone saying I had an endorsement deal, someone saying, um, oh, Mickey is just doing this, so it's not real. And some people saying it contains lots of chemicals. We all know that anything that, sorry, the light is getting brighter and dim. I'm using the review of the sun and it's a bit dark right now. It's getting to, towards evening. So um, we all know that uh, knuckle recipe or knuckle cleanser or serum is meant to, it's, they are actually industrial product and they are meant to contain chemicals these are chemicals that are meant to shed off your the darkness in your hands because one if you notice some people's hands they are really really so dark as in and it's not a must you need to peel because if you've peeled your hands consistently continuously continue you would notice that with time the hands even the hands or legs or feet will get weak and tired it will not be able to peel anymore because you've really peeled and peeled and one thing you should know about peeling when you peel and you go out in the sun you know without shielding your skin forget it you'll go back to square one even worse than square one so i'm just going to show you guys the sample and i'll put you guys through it so you guys would see how he did it and what began, began to shed off from his hands so people saying ah you're long pa you will see that there is no fabu to it there's nothing to to lie about all right so let's go check First it out off, you have to boil your water make sure you boil two liters of water nothing more nothing less two liters of water then you pour it into a bowl allow the water to sit for a while because you can't be putting your hands into the hot water now so allow it to sit for a while before you get to add your fungicide into the water so when the water would have relaxed for a while then you add two cups of fungicide natural light into the water okay after adding the fungicide into the water all you just have to do is tear the water you can see how we i told him to stir the water after stirring the water then you put your hands into the water now you leave your hands inside the water for 10 minutes no more no less you leave it for 10 whole minutes so after leaving your hands there for 10 minutes you take it off that means you remove the, your hands from the water and you begin to scrape now if you want to scrape your hands make sure you're scraping with plastic spoon don't use anything harsh like metal no 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 don't do that make sure you you're using plastic spoon to scrape your hands all right check the areas that are really dark check the side of your hands all right the side of your hands are really necessary because those sides you notice like maybe shrinking so check the sides of your hands, scrape them, even the knuckles, the darker areas, scrape them in between your hands. If they are dark, make sure you're scraping them. Okay. Now, you know, when your hands are dark, there's, there are some parts that are really, really darker than others. Spend your time in scraping those parts. But if you notice those parts are already scraped, don't go back scraping them so you don't hurt your skin. Because you notice that when you put your hands into the water, your hands become really, really, really soft really really soft so you don't want and looks greasy so you don't want to hurt your skin all right so again what you have to do is if you if you're kind of person that has knuckles just like he does and he has knuckles on like on his palm as well make sure you're scraping your palm as well because you can see him scraping his palm scrape your palm scrape the back of your hand scrape the sides scrape every part that you know is dark and you want to fade off those knuckles be rigorous with it but at the same time plastic will do a good justice to it rather than metal or iron because those ones will hurt your skin so plastic is better because you won't be um, plunging into your skin because you don't want to hurt your skin that's why we're telling you to use plastic okay so after doing that all that you have to do is you take your hands out of um water you would have taken it out of the water anyways and since you were done you are done scraping then you wash your hands it's necessary for you to wash your hands you have to wash your hands okay because you notice that your hands become greasy really really greasy due to the fungicide that was added into the water so you need to wash your hands really well after you have scraped really well after washing your hands then use towel to pat your hands dry okay so after patting your hands dry 
this is the part that is really more important because you notice those kind of things leave your hands coming dried so you don't want your hands becoming dry because if your hands are dried your 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 men to actually have knuckles there's a there's an occurrence of that knuckle happening again so it's better for you to moist your hands now moist your hands with steroids high dose of steroids you can definitely use easy white carotene all right i'll put it on the screen so you guys will see it all right use it rigorously if you notice your hands is dark use it if you know okay notice guys so you guys actually saw the effect of the fungicide knuckle water you can see what it does you can see how effective it is well now so people will be like ah oh, nikki if i get it should i be using it every day something that powerful should not be used every day because when you overuse something you know too much of everything is not good exactly when you overuse it it begins to backfire and again when you use something like that after you know sh trying to scrape after scraping should I, I should say after scraping your hands and you notice that you finish scraping you wash your hands off make sure you moist your hands with a steroid cream a cream that you know it's a lightning not an hydroquinone cream and don't leave your hands dry a dried hand most times you know causes knuckles make sure your hands are not dry make sure they are always moist okay moist them really really well and apart from that you should not use that fungicide every day someone even gave um, an example that she uses it cameroon that she uses it and she uses it twice in a week you know so try as much as possible because that chemical is so strong something that can shed off knuckle in just a day honey come on don't do that every day don't do it you could do like you know give it time all right so um i'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys